The German company Sky Sales Group has developed an innovative solution that could revolutionize wind energy. Scientists have created the world's first wind energy harvesting system using an airborne kite, which can be used on both land and in open seas. The power of one wind installation ranges from 80 to 200 kilowatts. Its main advantages are mobility, efficiency, and affordability. The system is a mobile platform with a hidden generator inside, which is connected to the kite by a rope. The kite itself is designed to trace figure eights in the air under the influence of the wind. At the same time, the other end of the rope inside the platform constantly unwinds and winds up on a reel rotating the generator. The kite can rise to a height of up to 2,625 feet. Due to the absence of natural obstacles, the wind's force at such a height is twice as strong as where standard wind turbine blades are located. In the event of a hurricane, snowfall, or heavy rain, the system automatically lands the kite and retracts the winch inside for complete safety. The seawater desalination system for the Canadian company Oneka can produce up to 13,000 gallons of fresh water per day. This amount is sufficient to meet the needs of 100 to 1,500 people depending on their lifestyle. This fully autonomous installation is made from 170,000 plastic bottles. The desalination process is powered by wave energy which drives the pumps. These pumps draw seawater into the reverse osmosis system, where, with the help of a series of filters, is purified from salts, bacteria, and other particles from the seawater. The quality of purification is constantly monitored by special sensors powered by solar energy. The purified drinking water is delivered to the shore through a pipeline, while the remaining impurities are mixed with a special brine and pumped back into the sea. According to the company's representatives, they plan to create a system in the near future that can produce up to 140,000 gallons of fresh water per day. A battery the size of a mountain. That's how you can describe the Northfield Mountain Hydroelectric Station. This natural battery can instantly deliver up to 1,200 megawatts of power and supply electricity to about 1 million homes at any time. Water is used as the source of energy, which in case of a shortage of electricity in the grid, is released from the upper reservoir to the lower one, spinning the generator's turbine. When there's excess electricity, the pumps do the opposite. They move water from the lower reservoir to the upper one for later release. This process allows for the accumulation and storage of surplus energy, which can be used at any time. The lower reservoir is the Connecticut River, while the upper one is an artificially created lake at the top of the mountain. The latter has a water displacement of 15.2 million cubic meters. Moreover, the water level in the lake can vary by up to 65 feet, depending on the electricity demand. Energy to power the pumps is generated by wind and solar power stations, which are actively installed worldwide. This is why such natural batteries open up new possibilities for storing excess electricity and using it when needed. According to the developers at EC Generi, EC floating is the highest quality, most durable, and most cost-effective floating solar system in the world. These panels are made from high-quality modern materials using pressure casting technology. Thanks to this production method, almost all the air is squeezed out of the molten material, which contributes to the formation of a stronger structure due to the absence of internal voids. EC floating solar panels also have high stability and buoyancy. Each of them can withstand a load of up to 530 pounds and their special aerodynamic design minimizes the impact of wind on the structure. The cost of such a system is much lower than other floating alternatives. Moreover, it can be easily transported from place to place thanks to its special modular design, and the installation process doesn't require the involvement of specialized personnel. 
a team of four people can install a 1 megawatt station in just 17 days. It can already be confidently said that there is a bright future for floating solar power stations. The Spanish startup X1 Wind has completed the assembly of a prototype floating wind turbine on the Canary Islands. What sets this structure apart from other floating wind generators is its single point mooring and lightweight tensioning supports. This combination allows the system to freely move with the wind and generate energy almost continuously. Furthermore, due to the absence of massive and heavy metal beams used in traditional systems of this type, the overall weight of the structure is significantly reduced. The platform is assembled on shore and then towed to the installation site using small vessels. This also reduces the project's costs because towing the lightweight X1 wind doesn't require the use of large and expensive marine vessels. Thanks to the vertical mooring system, the structure can be installed at various depths, ranging from 196 to 1,640 feet. The Mutant Project is a new development in flexible rocketry by the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory. The innovation in this rocket lies in its front section being attached to a hinge joint. This allows for rapid changes in the rocket's flight direction while in the air. Thanks to this feature, the weapon will be able to target highly maneuverable objectives, including future fighter jets. To implement this solution, designers used a special hinge similar in design to the one installed on the exhaust nozzle of the vertical takeoff fighter jet, the F-35B. To withstand high temperatures and g-forces during rapid changes in flight direction, the rocket's skin and frame will be made from state-of-the-art super-strong materials. It is anticipated that the final development will be capable of flying at high supersonic speeds and indoor temperatures up to 1,652 degrees Fahrenheit. Developers have already conducted several ground tests on the rockets, but work is still ongoing. The primary mission of Harmony Turbine is to develop compact and affordable vertical axis wind turbines for providing electricity to private homes and businesses. The average cost of installation is $2,500, with a payback period of 5 to 7 years. In addition to their small size, Harmony wind generators have several significant advantages over traditional setups. The patented generator design allows the system to generate power in both low and high winds. This means it cannot continue operating when other similar wind turbines cannot start in low winds or must be shut down in high winds. When a hurricane approaches, Harmony's blades automatically retract for protection against damage. These wind generators also produce less noise during operation due to their lower speed range, enhancing the comfort of the owner. Makani Power is a new type of wind turbine project by Google. The design consists of a kite with wind generators attached to it. Using a kite leads to up to 90% material savings and allows for 50% more electricity generation compared to ground-based installations. This is because the kite can ascend to a height of up to 1,148 feet, which is twice as high as the highest height at which regular wind turbines can operate, 328 feet. At this height, the strength of the air currents is twice as great. The kite can be equipped with 4 to 8 turbines with propellers that create additional thrust and enable the structure to climb higher. As the turbines rotate, they generate energy that is sent down a cable to the ground station. During natural disasters, the station also serves as a shelter for the kite. Unfortunately, due to some miscalculations, the project was closed. However, the research and testing results have been made publicly available in the Energy Kite Collection portfolio, 
which some companies have already used in creating their wind turbine projects. A group of developers from the Robotics Institute have created the Tartan Pest Robotic System, designed to detect and mechanically destroy the eggs of the spotted lanternfly. This insect causes significant damage to various crops including apples, grapes, and hops. The system consists of a manipulator arm, a rotating brush, and a computer vision system installed on an electric micro-tractor called Amiga. To search for pests, the system uses a specially trained algorithm that has over 700 photos of eggs commonly found on trees, rocks, and other surfaces stored in its memory. Upon detecting a clutch of eggs, the robot destroys them using the rotating brush attached to its manipulator. In one go, the robot can eliminate between 30 to 50 eggs, preventing potential pests from hatching in the spring. For the first time in history, Venice has managed to avoid its annual flooding thanks to the new Mohs Lock system, which was under construction for over 30 years. The test was successful. The area of St. Mark's Square, which is usually flooded even during minor high tides, remained virtually dry. The Mohs system consists of four independent parts, each comprising 78 massive floodgates. When there is no threat of flooding, the gates are submerged underwater and completely invisible to onlookers. For the passage of ships, special gates have been provided. When a flood is imminent, compressed air is pumped into the gates, causing them to assume a vertical position, blocking the flow of water. The system can protect the city from tides as high as 3 meters. Venice has never experienced such extensive flooding before, although the dam was planned before a full understanding of climate change existed. Which invention, in your opinion, is the most useful and requires further research? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There's plenty more fascinating information from the world of science and technology coming your way.